Good morning. Today is Thursday, November 3rd. Our names are the ladies and Jennifer and this is Father Today. Today's schedule is 2 for 6. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and now for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Eighth grade boys interested in orange and black flag football, please speak with Mr. Morphy. Students, please remember the store and by your school set in the PTA store. Pixel sell every Wednesday after school for a dollar. Citizenship Prico will, meet, will be meeting every week on Tuesday. If you're interested in joining SWAT, please speak to Ms. Strata. Filer Scholars will be meeting every week on Thursday. Today, the boys will host a volleyball game and the girls will be playing tomorrow. Come out and support your teams. November 9th is the next Builders Club meeting. The light will meet immediately after school Thursday November 3rd, please come prepare to rehearse for the Christmas show. The light will be selling delicious yummy fun pops for a dollar immediately after school every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Purchase these delicious fun pops as you exit the building. Thank you, Miss Moss. The Orange Bowl Kicks for Kids is a program designed to provide South Florida unserved youth for the opportunity to participate in the recap, the rewards of support and exercise will be receiving a pair of good athletic shoes and the top three collecting schools will receive donations. To win, donate a new or moderately used athletic shoes. Tata Borrego and Lynn Reeves scored the most points in a given day compared to all students in Florida using team bids. Thaito scored 50 bonus points and Lynn earned 25 bonus points. Their names will be posted to the school daily top score. Eighth grade girls who are part of the Guiga study, if you be you will be meeting for Drama Rama right after school in room 11 on Thursday and Friday. If you are not participating, participating in Juega and are interested in participating, please come see Mrs. Estrada. You must be a 7th grade girl to participate. Attention teachers and students. We will be having a camp food drive to assist those less fortunate that, than us during Thanksgiving. Please bring your donations to your homeroom class by November 10th. If you have an interest in a career in education or is a leader who enjoys helping others learn, join our school FEA club and help encourage students in your school and the community to learn. Meeting is on Monday, November 14 at 8.30 a.m. in room 91. Miss Frank. And now to sports. The longest trial in professional sports history is over. Last night, the Chicago Cubs defeated the Cleveland Indians in the final game of the World Series, 8-7 to seven, in 10 innings. It has been 108 years since the Cubs won their last championship, so the curse of the Billy Goat is dead. Back in 1945, William Sinus, owner of the Billy Goat Terran, was asked to leave the park because his pet goat Murphy was bothering other fans with its odors. Outraged Sinus, allegedly declared them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more, which haunted fans till last night. And now to weather. Today's forecast is a high of 81 degree with a 30% chance of rain, and it's going to be cloudy. And now, now to Rachel. Rachel. Now to election 2016. Ahead of election day next week, elect election officials around the country are checking and double checking their equipment to make sure the results are calculated ac accurately. Those officials are under, are under increased scrutiny this year with Donald Trump and his allies claiming the voting system could be 
rigged in favor of Democrats. So election administrators around the country are opening the door are opening the doors to the public to show off the multiple layers of safeguards in the ballot counting process. Now to Maria. On this day in 1964, residents of the District of Columbia cast their ballots in a presidential election for the first time. The passage of the 23rd Amendment in 1961 gave citizens of the nation's capital the right to vote for a commander-in-chief and vice president. They went on to help de Democrat Lyndon Johnson defeat Republican Barry Goldwater in 1964, the next presidential election. Now to Davey. Students, please remember the school-wide behavior expectation be resourceful, ready, responsible, respectful, and healthy. Thank you. This has been Filer Today.